Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Call from wireless caller. This is Chris. Oh, hi, Chris. Hey. Um, I was wondering if you knew any good alternatives to Windows uh, Media Player that are free. I just had a lot of trouble trying to use the uh, Windows Media Player. Well, I mean, it works. I just don't like what it does to the screen. What it does to the movies when you're going to full screen, it will only let me see, like, a portion of it, it won't actually go full screen. I was just wondering if you knew any good free um, DVD players that I could download and use on my computer. My suggestion, I'm going to suggest two things. And I just did uh -huh. a search for it just to make sure. Um, the first one is VLC. And VLC? VLC, yes. And the second one is M player. That's one word. M as in Microsoft and player as in well player. And I had the okay. same issue today. Uh, and I believe each one of those products is available on all operating systems. Uh, and are, are they free? Yes, they're free. And okay. uh, well as far as you're concerned, yes, they're free. They're open source. The uh, in fact Google Player, which is a desktop player from Google, when they started doing video stuff, was based on VLC. The uh, I, I I was I didn't have an issue with VLC, still don't. But today I was trying to play some WMV files inside of OS X. Now Microsoft stopped developing the Windows Media Player for OS X years ago, and of course I don't think Microsoft ever developed a player for uh, Windows Media Files uh, for Linux. So I was having this stuttering problem, and I'll, I'll see if I can illustrate it here. Give me a second. I, I, I've just, uh, I'm just now starting to get everything down to where I, I know where I've got everything sitting, you know, since I just made this move. Uh, okay, so here, let's do this. Open with VLC. This is a Robert Scoble sleeping. He's snoozing. Uh -huh. and he's snoring. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's a lot better that's than what Windows does. This is a, this is a. It's it's Scoble. I'm not worried about it. Uh, he's he just fell asleep. I've actually got a picture of Scoble sleeping too. It's just funny. Uh, anyway, so that that was played back on. It, well, it was through through VLC. I was having issues with it earlier, so then I downloaded M Player, and the same Windows Media file that had issues in VLC had no issues in M Player. Uh, I ultimately yeah. converted the, the WMV to MP4 using Visual Hub, which is not free, but it's a fantastic program on OS X. Well, um, but only... Microsoft, they'll actually recommend, for OS X, they'll recommend something called, um, what is it again? Uh, Flip 4 Mac. But you have to, it works fine for playback, but then they throw these logos in there, and it's like, oh, forget that, dude. There's like an open source or free version available. I'm not going to pay for something I can get for free. No way. Get out of here. Yeah. So. Well, I only want the uh, video player for DVDs. I don't actually want it for any um, anything other than that. If you want? Do you for think well, you're okay need, with any of these two choices? As long as you're able to decode a DVD. Um, what about? Will VLC do DVDs? I don't know. I've always had a I've always had a different uh, program for playing DVDs. Well, the Mac plays DVDs, and of course Windows does as well. XP or Vista? Uh, I have XP. Okay. Um, and I, I, well, yeah, try VLC. Someone's saying that VLC will do DVDs, or a couple people are saying it. So there you go. Yeah. Either way, it's yeah, a good player. I ended up pulling up. I I I I've yet to launch iTunes on this Mac. I just. I have an aversion to iTunes. If I don't need to play something in iTunes, I don't want to, because it keeps a record and archives. And even if I turn it off, it's just—it's too much for me. I don't need iTunes. Oh, I can't stand iTunes. Even on a Mac, I don't like iTunes. So I'm with you on your media player choices. Does anybody else have any other recommendations for this guy? If, even if they don't have recommendations, I'm telling you, VLC and M Player. Uh, we'll do the do it just uh, do it for you just fine. You don't need to buy uh, media player software. It's a commodity these days. Yeah, yeah. I think I'll be okay. I'll figure it out. 
Yeah, for sure. And if you okay. ever want to rip uh, your DVDs, there's a Handbrake. We'll do it for free. That's another open source cross-platform product. Now that's yeah, not... I actually have. I have used that one before. Right. I have that, it on my computer. But understand, that's just for DVDs that you own. Like, at you, my wedding DVD, I ripped into. Uh, a, I ripped ripped into an MP4 using Handbrake. In fact, if I can find it, uh, I don't know if I've got it listed here. It's been. Uh, I'm still, like I said, getting things kind of set up here. Uh, but top hit wedding. Let's see if I've got it in there. I may have it in here. Oh, no. I think all I have in here is just the uh, stuff from the wedding. Anyway, I converted it with Handbrake MP4, high quality, right, straight from the DVD. Didn't cost me a thing. I love free and open source software. Yeah, me too. Me too. Uh, right. One more question. Sure. Um, do you think um, that it will be wise for me to buy an iPhone at the moment? Or should I just wait and see if they come with something new on February? Maybe the chance that they're going to do this thing for the uh, iPod. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I can't. Down. Right. I wish I could predict the future. I can't. I don't know. If you're asking me if you should wait, I, at this point I'd say wait. If they come out, and now here's the thing, you may be waiting indefinitely. It, you know, it, it may come, it may not come this year. You know, and all that time you, you could have had it. You know, I could have had an iPhone. Um, I don't know what's going to happen. As soon as, as soon as that thing goes, then I'm likely uh, going to be, uh, well, I'll probably be selling, depending on how, how new or how, how better, how much better the new one is, uh, I may be selling my old iPhone, so you may be able to get it cheap. The old one, if you want the old one for cheap. Well, I don't, cheap yeah. is relative though, because I'm pretty sure they're not going to be, still not going to be very cheap. But uh, I, w I would certainly be selling that uh, the the other the iPhone that I that I currently have to to somebody. I might even, well, I may even auction the thing off, auction it off, maybe <laughs> even do it. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen, but maybe I'll even think about doing a giveaway. I don't know. We'll see. It's not going to happen yet. Nothing's happening yet, guys. Nothing. That's not in stone. I'm just saying. <laughs> Yeah, I'll sign yeah, it. Yeah, you know why I get people excited over there. There you go. I'll sign it and then put it on eBay. There we go. <laughs> all right. Okay, well then, I think that's all my questions. Thank you for your help. All right, thank you. Bye. Bye.